The Arbitration, a 2016 Nigerian movie which is now on Netflix. Yes, so if you haven't seen it, you can watch it now. It's now available on Netflix. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Movies. I'm Lydia and I'm your host for today. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and more updates. In this video, we'll take a look at the movie, The Arbitration. Um, we'll review the whole thing and then I also make my judgment on it since it's like a, a board that is almost like a law court. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's begin. So, I'll start by um, explaining or reading the meaning of arbitration and then we'll proceed to the movie. So, arbitration is a private process where disputing parties agree that one or several individuals can make a decision about the dispute after receiving evidence and hearing arguments. Arbitration is different from me mediation because the neutral arbitrator has the authority to make a decision about the dispute. So that is what the movie is about, the arbitration. So two parties have they disagree on something, they go on board and then they talk their, they defend themselves and whoever wins takes the cap. Like who, after the whole um, argument and defense, whoever, let me say the judge or the arbitrator thinks is, is right, takes, becomes the winner. So in this film, a lady accuses his boss of raping her. So alleged rape. So, the board talk about how everything began, how they met and everything. So when I was watching, I was thinking, really, the man raped him. Er, the man raped the lady. Really, the man raped the lady. So the man has his lawyer and the lady also has her lawyer. And both of them are defending each other. In the film, I noted some few points that I'll bring here. So when... I was watching this, I saw that before the lady got on board with the company, she actually uh, had to disguise herself. Not, I don't say disguise, but okay, so she went to meet the man as if she was sent by someone, but she was using that as a means to sell herself out. So that scene alone tells me that the lady is a very, very smart lady. You don't have to um, you don't have to joke with her. You don't have to mess with her because she's very smart. Going forward to a company and selling herself to be like to be as good as she is means she's very smart in different ways. Though she could be um, technically good, she also has qualities of being very smart, being able to um, tap the psychology of people. So eventually she got the job. And funny enough, her boss wasn't who she or who he claimed to be. Her boss was, like, let me say, greedy with the the money and all that and all stuff because he still wanted his company to grow, and he knew that the brain behind the company's growth was this lady, and if he made any mistake, the lady would leave. So the lady is like. She should have the whole company, but because she wasn't the one who started the company, she cannot claim the company as hers. But most of the ideas was bringing them millions of dollars were her ideas. So it's fair enough for her boss to at least give her, her a percentage of the shares. So that is how I understand the movie. If you are the one who sets this business up and I come on board, I give you ideas that's bringing you millions of dollars, it is just fair, it's just right for you to give me my share, my rightful share. But then, since the boss also wanted the company to grow and grow for many years to come, he made an agreement with an investment company without her knowledge. And the agreement was that I want to give her her percentage of the shares. That is, if she sticks with the company for seven years. You know, by seven years, maybe you will get someone who will be matching her qualities, or by seven years, the company is no way close to coming down. So that was the agreement he made with the investment company without her knowledge. But he'll come to the lady and make it look like um, he's supporting uh, her. 
um, he doesn't really agree with the investment policies, his paperwork, and so we just have to be um, go through the process and all that. But deep down, he wanted the lady to stick to the company, not because um, I don't know how I'm even saying it. He wanted the lady to stick the company because of the growth of the company. He knew that he wouldn't make it as good as he was making it at the moment without the lady. Yeah. So because the lady, as I said earlier, is very smart, she also decided to find ways and means. The movie tells us that at the latter part, or when you follow the storyline, well, you realize that she wasn't raped, but she wanted the means to get to what she wants. If nothing comes up, she um, it's just like a normal person resigning from her company, and you cannot sue your boss for resign. Like it, it doesn't really um, add up. But when you make an accusation, that's it's not really a wrong accusation. When you are able to fabricate as well, the matter will be given the attention you need, and that's exactly what the lady did. So it's a 50-50 um, thing. The man was right at a point. The lady was also right at a point. But I think the lady was smart. She's very smart. Yes, by bringing up the story of rape. At the last um, few, um, I think few, the last part, we saw what really happened. So the lady went to his house. And then, you see, rape is something that is a forced sexual attempt on a woman or a man without the permission. Do you get it? But sometimes you are put in a position that you are not forced into the act. But the conditions that come with it will make you accept it. It is also equally rape. Though maybe when you go to the hospital to do a test or something, it will come out negative because they will not see anything false or anything. But the conditions that came, that comes with it, makes it indirectly rape yeah so i understand the lady that she had to accuse him yes in order to get what she wanted now the part of the judgment i really really like the judgment that uh, that was made it was a very good judgment a very straight judgment so he said that i cannot say he raped you because of the relationship you have do you get it? It's like um, you've been with your boyfriend for a long while and then you accuse him of rape. Like, it doesn't really sound cool. And when you go and do a test, like, I don't know how I'm really saying it. Um, I cannot say you raped because of the relationship you have. You have this this cool relationship. You, go, you hang out and all that. So I cannot really testify to it because he is opposing to the fact that you are accusing him of rape. And then you are accusing. There's no evidence to that particular act. So the judgment was, I cannot say he raped you. But what I would say is that, this is what I liked about the judgment. What I would say is that, it's just fair that someone who has helped you grow your company get a percentage of the shares. Even if she lives today or seven years later, the percentage should come the percentage should come. That's a very, very fair judgment he made over there. That's a very, very fair judgment. It doesn't have to take that long. You haven't, even if an investment company should sign an agreement, it should be between the main party and the invest, uh, the investor and the company. So if the investor doesn't agree to the terms and conditions, she can defend it or she can argue it there but you don't have to you don't need a mediator or something to come into the case and say i'm i'm standing for you i'm with you and all that yeah so i really like the judgment that was made that i cannot agree or we there's no strong evidence to the fact that you were raped by your boss but what i can say is that it's just fair that you get a percentage of what you contributed you are the main reason why the company is glowing is growing is is having millions of dollars so it's just fair and right that you get a percentage Percentage of your shares. Yeah. So that is what I think about the arbitration. It's a very nice one. It's I like it. To me, I like it. I think it's good. It might seem boring, yes, but it's very good. When you pay deep attention to it, when you follow the story, how both parties are how how each party is defending 
his case like how everything is going about yes and the lady is very smart you see when she um some people were sent to beat her up she had to think smart she's a very smart lady i like her i like the film and i think you should also watch it if you haven't seen it it's a 2016 film and it came on netflix um this year and you know netflix is a worldwide sharing platform so I had access to it and I've watched it and I think it's a good one. It's a film you should take your time and watch. You should pay attention to the storyline, how they are defending themselves and all of that. So let me know your thoughts on this review. Did you like it? And uh, what are your thoughts? Do you think the judge made a good judgment? Yes. Do you think um, the rape was true? As it says, it's alleged, but do you think it was true? Who's side are you on are you on the side of the man or are you on the side of the woman i mean the victim and the other person i've forgotten how they call it i think the the plaintiff and the other person yeah there's those low lowers so yeah that's basically it for now my name is lydia once again i'll end here for today if you are new to this channel do that thing again subscribe like comment share and let's do this so i'll see you next time with another exciting review so next time thank you so much for watching bye